Okay, now let's look at um, some more complex linear equations. Um, okay, let's start off with the equation. Let's see. X plus 2X plus 7 equals negative 3X plus 5X equals 9. Okay? So, now on both sides of the equations, we have variables and just numbers. So, in order to um, find the value of x, we would basically just kind of group them together. So, x plus 2x is equal to 3x. So, 3x plus 7 equals negative 3x plus 5x is equal to 2x. Plus, or I guess this is negative 9 minus 9. Okay, so now we have, um, now we group both sides. Now we want to kind of have it so that all the variables are on one side and all the numbers are on the other. So in order to move this x over, we subtract by negative 2x. So 3x minus 2x is equal to x. And this is uh, canceled out. And in order to move the 7 over, we, we subtract negative 7. So 7 minus 7 equals to uh, 0 is equal to negative 9 minus 7 which equals to x equals negative 16 okay so uh, pretty simple right um, let's try something harder let's try throwing in some uh, fractions so if I have let's see 1 half x plus um, 5 minus Two, um, 2 over 4x equals to 3 um, plus, let's see, plus 4 over 4x. No, plus, sorry about that. I'm um, just trying to think about a problem on the spot. Plus. 4 over 8x. Now what do we have? So we have a variable, a number, a variable, number, a variable. Okay, so let's just solve this out. So um, half x minus 2 fourth x. How do you do this? Well, you want to have the denominators the same. Um, I believe you learned this before. So um, 1 half is the same as 2 fourths, correct? So you have 2 fourth x. Um, for those that don't know how one half is the same as two fourths, you basically have the number one half, and you um, if you want to make it so that the denominator is four, you you can just multiply the bottom number by two and the top number by two because you're basically multiplying this by one, so it's two times one over two times one or two times two, so which is two fourths. Um, for those of you that are unsure of how this works, um, the number eighteen over eighteen that's equal to 1, correct? Or the number 9 over 9 is equal to 1. So, if you wanted to make this bottom number 18, the denominator 18, what do you do? You multiply by 2, right? So if you multiply the bottom number by 2, you can also multiply the top number by 2. So 2 times 9 is 18, 2 times 9 is 18, so 18 over 18 equals 1, which we showed here. So, going back to our original problem, we have 2 fourth x minus 2 fourth x. Perfect, they cancel out. So that equals to zero. So we have only five on this side. So five equals three plus four eighths x. And four eighths x, um, when you simplify it, it becomes one over two x. So we want to move the three over to the other side. So you you uh, subtract by three. So it's five minus three, which is two, equals to one half x. And we have um, if you want to isolate x, it's uh, Let's put this into a more familiar terms. So, um, 2 equals 1 half x is the same as 1 half x equals 2. We're just basically switching the two sides over. So, in order to get rid of this, we multiply both sides by 2. So, 2 over 1 times 1 over 2 x equals 2 times 2 over 1. So, you cross multiply and you have x equals 4. If you have any questions, just leave it in the comments and I'll get back to you soon.